Can you remember the building, Harry, that, were, that our youth hostel was very close to in London? St Paul's Cathedral. At such a sort of pivotal moment in history, it's provided us with an amazing opportunity for the children to be really involved in, you know, this national and, and international event. There by chance, a long planned school trip to London in a week which will never be forgotten. I felt like everybody was like so upset. The whole world was united over one person's death and I felt honoured, honestly. Which was the one we went on? It was Tower Bridge, wasn't it? Yeah. Pupils from Nettleton Community Primary School took in sights, including the Tower of London and St Paul's Cathedral. It was calm and I liked the music that was in the background. And then when Miss Alliston and Miss Parry went to light the candle, I was interested. We went to the Queen's Crown and it was really shiny. We were really lucky to um, see them before they put it on top of the Queen's coffin. It kind of means that like, it's a special time and that we should pay as much respect as we could to her. The fact that we saw the Crown Jewels just really moments before they were whisked away um, was a really special thing for the children and I hope that's given them a connection to the King's coronation as well when that eventually comes. So a special trip and one that many others from our area are making ahead of the Queen's State Funeral on Monday. Crispin Rolfe, BBC Look North, Nick Caster.